We've got to go back into a battle if we want to win the war though next time. A really cold night down to minus four, minus six. Uh, snow and ice, hailstone, you name it, it came last night. And there's some huge swell this morning. It's been really difficult trying to get out over these waves. Um, borderline, uh, we nearly had to call it off, but we're just trying to push through, see if we can get over them. I feel good. <laughs> Can't handle Scotland, my body. Not nice, not nice at all. We're about to go and have some Type 3 fun. I'm calling this Type 3 fun. It's a lot different than Types 1 and 2, because of course Type 1 is fun and you enjoy it and it's beautiful. Type 2 fun is what we call in the adventure world when, when you're doing it, it's miserable, it's horrible, it's relentless, but when you're finished, you can have a smile and a laugh and say, that was all right actually. But this is a new type of fun. This is Type 3 fun because it's miserable when you're doing it. And even when you finish, it's even more miserable because it's cold, you've got seasickness to look forward to, uh, no sleep. So, welcome to Type 3. There are very few people in the world who are here or want to be where we are right now. But there are even fewer people in the world who would be here on the boat and then decide, you know what, I want to get off the boat and go paddling. Transition from Type 3 to Type 1 to Right here. Type 3 to type 2.5. <laughs> <laughs> Zero temperatures, uh, just literally on the approach now to get round the northwest uh, point of Great Britain. Um, really, really cold now, um, feeling the depths of the winter. So we're just on hold to 111. Um, I spoke to a, a couple of doctor friends of mine um, who have sort of reassured me, but something's not right in my stomach. That's amazing, thank you so much doctor, I appreciate that. We've come in at a place called Kinloch Burby um, in the Scottish Highlands, about 20, 25 kilometers short of Cape Wrath. This is actually probably the first time I've been on land in Scotland as well properly, so going for a walk for 15 minutes. It's a bit weird actually. It's a tough one, I think signs are probably pointing more towards the effect of not having enough fuel in my body and then being seasick before each paddle from the boat. I don't think it's going to stop you being able to carry on. Yeah. The doctor said, you know, we're over 2,000 kilometers of paddling in extreme conditions. We're doing something that hasn't been done before. We're going to experience pains and aches. We're testing parts of the body that, that don't get tested to this extreme doing this kind of sport or activity. So, Maybe I just need to get over it. <laughs> it's winter. It is winter. Look at that! It's snowing and it's icy. <laughs> Incredible. It's gonna be cold tonight. about 10, 12 kilometers short of Cape Wrath. Uh, just over to my right there, you've got Samwood Bay. One of the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful beaches in the UK. Very difficult to access by road. Probably why it's so nice. We've been waiting about three days for the opportunity to take on Cape Wrath. 
and this is the best we're going to get unfortunately but we're going to give it a go see how we get on Four o'clock, the sun has now set, the tide has now stopped pulling us round and is switching to go against us. Um, we are just shy of Cape Wrath by a couple of kilometres. Jordan's digging deep, it's getting dark. These are the times when it, it pays off. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get around tonight. Yep. Well, the good news is we made it to Cape Wrath, uh, but I haven't got quite round it yet. I'm literally, I'm probably stopped in the worst place possible in the whole of Great Britain. Um, it, it is as difficult and as challenging as everybody told me. I've been in a battle there for about an hour and a half at the end, and we lost light and we lost the tide. And I really wanted to push around the headland and get a good 5, 10k clear because from all previous headlands I've learned that you never want to stop there because you know you're going back into a battle when you start your next paddle. Um, it was as tough as I imagined, if not worse. Um, but we've made it to the most northwesterly point of the UK on the mainland and we've got to go back into a battle if we want to win the war though next time. <laughs> 